This charming town on the coast of California is full of cottage-style buildings, unique dining, lush nature, and boutique shopping. Last week we explored Monterey, and this week we're exploring its neighbor. This is Carmel by the Sea. Travelers and welcome back to Tourist to Local. As we promised last week when we were in Monterey, now we're in Carmel by the Sea. Yeah, the adventures down the coast of California continue and although these are two neighboring cities, they are totally different. That's right. I think they deserve their own video. Yeah, so today we're going to be exploring all the gorgeousness that's in Carmel by the Sea, including the delicious food, the golf scene, the beaches and everything. So let's get started. There's a reason I brought you here. Why? Because I have something I think you're gonna like. What is that? Pistachio cannoli. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. What you will quickly learn when doing any research on Carmel is that this place is a foodie capital. There's a lot of food options, but one we couldn't miss was this little bakery that was established in 1899 and is now Carmel's oldest running retail business. You were so right, Jules. I want it to be so bad. <laughs> of course we start eating before we even say where are we. So, we're in this cute coffee shop called Carmel Bakery. Very, very good pastry. It's crowded, so you have to be in line, but it's worth it. Carmel by the Sea totally unique is the architecture here which is why our next activity is going to be walking around the neighborhood we're going to do a little self-guided cottage tour because there's tons of fairy tale style cottages here and we gotta see what that's all about one of the most popular attractions of Carmel by the Sea is its collection of fairy tale cottages that make up a lot of the buildings in the area this storybook theme came from the imagination of Hugh Comstock, a toy maker who had a wife with a great collection of dolls. He felt inspired to build a whimsical home for his wife to house her dolls, and from there the storybook theme began to snowball. 21 of the original cottages from this builder still exist in the area, and it's really cool to get to see them. We'll leave a link in the description of a map we found online as a resource. Juliana said this is like a fairy tale house, but for me it looks like a hobbit. And oh, I love yeah. it. I love it. That's so true. I didn't think of that. That on the top of our tree. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> For that one. Nice. Oh, yeah. You and me. You and me. You and me in Monterey and Carmel. <laughs> so this is Ocean Avenue, that is the main road. And what I notice over here, there's a lot of art galleries and also wine tasting. You can spend the entire weekend over here just walking, discovering the streets, and yes, maybe taking a wine tasting. As we mentioned in our last video in Monterey, uh, this area is famous because they have a lot of vineyards. So wine is very important over here. So there's a lot of wine tasting, there's a lot of art galleries, and I wish we can have one of those wine tasting, but we cannot because we're gonna drive. And actually, we're gonna do a 17 mile drive. All right, let's go for it. 17 mile drive is one of only nine private toll roads in the country and the only one west of Mississippi. This picturesque drive will take you to discover the best beaches in Monterey County, world famous golf courses, and jaw dropping mansions. Originally, this road was opened in 1881 to day trippers in horse carriages and was designed to woo affluent guests with spectacular forest and coastal views. Much has changed since then, but this drive still remains a popular spot for tourists, especially amongst golf fanatics. Monterey Peninsula is home to more than 20 world-renowned golf courses, such as Pebble Beach Golf Course, which is said to be the number one public golf course in the country and host to six U.S. World Opens so far. 
it should be very, very cool to play golf over here in this course with the ocean next to it. It's beautiful, beautiful indeed. I can already see why 17 Mile Drive is so famous. You start off in kind of like the mountainous area, seeing the beach from a distance, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're here. And our first stop that we're actually getting out at is Spanish Bay, gorgeous stretch of coastline, and right in back of us is golf courses. There's nowhere else I've seen like this on the planet. Pacific, it should be like Acapulco. Go ahead and test it out. <laughs> what I'm actually really liking about this trail, it's that you can stop whenever you want. There's a lot of uh, stops, let's say like that. Very different one from another. You can go at your own pace. So you can do it in one hour or you can do it in five. It's up to you. Oh, uh, so we're in this place that it's a rock with a lot of birds and it's called Bird Rock. <laughs> Fitting name. That one is very nice. The one over here. You were gonna see it to the left. So, I present you the house that we're gonna buy whenever we're 60. Oh, what? This is the... Wow. We've seen the beaches, we've seen the golf courses, and now it's time for something I've been looking forward to, and that is getting to see more of these gorgeous cypress trees that they have on the coast of California. And what better place to see that than the Lone Cypress? This is actually one of the most photographed trees in North America, if not the world, and it is just gorgeous. I mean, imagine this place at sunset, right? But we can't be here that long because we got some lunch plans for you guys. So we'll catch you at lunch. Carmel by the Sea actually is known for their food. There's a lot of nice restaurants over here. But we wanted to do something more casual. That's why we came to this pub and we're having good food. And I know that everybody right now, they're drinking their wines and I'm having a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> here are so so good of course this is a pub so they're gonna do that well and this is overall such a fun place to hang out and watch a game hang out with some friends and just chill I like it too because it's kind of away from the busy area of downtown and I don't know less stuffy we hope you guys enjoyed exploring Carmel by the sea with us as much as we liked it yeah it was an awesome day trip thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video yeah so long Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.